All right. Today I would like to uh, cover a new feature that has been introduced in Logsic, and it, as of today, today is uh, uh, June eighteenth. Depending on where you are on this planet, maybe it's uh, your day ahead. But in any case, uh, the new feature that just landed uh, transforms the way we um, embrace uh, namespaces. So. And if you've been using Logsic, uh, you sh should be aware of namespacing, uh, which uh, is often used when people want to disambiguate uh, uh, some some nodes or content or pages, let's say, uh, because it's a it's a page first approach. But uh, in in this current implementation in the Logsic, Logsic uh, database mode, I believe is uh, somewhat interesting and cool. So uh, I'll do a quick tour so where we get a feel for what it looks like. And uh, so there are some notable changes if you've been testing uh, the Logseq database uh, version or mode. So we'll cover some of those um, and, and wrap it up. So um, I already have a setup in here. Uh, and we'll start with that uh, just to see. So um, to access the library, it's a just like the contents page, it, a library is a page uh, behind, the, behind the scene. So if I look for it, I'll find it here. So, but uh, one, one reminder, uh, in Logsy DB, everything is a node. Even a page is a node. It, a page is essentially a node which has a tag uh, page. So, Library is kind of in the same boat, but this is a it's a page uh, with some extra uh, capabilities that allows organiz uh, the organization of of pages to form namespaces, for example. So um, once I click on this library here, um, I we can see that I've added some some pages. So anytime any of these that we see here, there there are pages. If I were to add, for example. A page for uh, let's say uh, Microsoft, right? Um, so <clears throat> this is this will be a page. Uh, how do we find that out? Um, well, uh, you can click on it and you can add some notes to it here. So <clears throat> um, one thing that's cool about this now is while on this page, you can organize. Um, uh, your hierarchy. So if I if, if I want a child page, uh, nested page uh, to a certain degree here, I can just uh, hit enter and then it brings me, uh, as it creates a child node here. And for example, if I do, um, let's do, let's do Microsoft Edge, why not? So the Edge browser, uh, how about we do uh, VS Code? So we just started uh, keep it short so vs code so if i click on here uh, we can see the breadcrumb this is part of that user experience so uh, for navigating so li under library there is a uh, there is microsoft and then under microsoft we have vs code if i were to click on microsoft here we can see that we have some child pages um, under microsoft so uh, one uh, Another feature, I'm not sure how people will feel about this, but I uh, can share some feedback. Uh, while I'm on a, a nested page under library here, and then I'm looking at this one, this Microsoft Edge, which is another page uh, related having its parent being Microsoft here, um, I can start adding some notes here. Um, a competitor to uh, Chrome, for example. So if I do this, this is a node. Um, so this is no longer a page as far as I know. So um, one way to look at that is, how about we uh, we go to all pages, let's search for it. Maybe I'm wrong, I guess I'm not wrong. So this is a node um, that belongs to uh, the page uh, that we are looking at. So. Um, in case you're wondering why do I have library under favorite, I've just uh, uh, set it as favorite here. So I, I have an easy access to it. Um, I have 
I have a suggestion out there to um, to maybe add library alongside um, these other core features of Logseq, uh, like journal, pages, task, and so on. So uh, we'll see if that feedback uh, sticks. But yeah, so coming back to this here, I'll click back on Microsoft. I can see the node I added here. And uh, um, we talk, I just talked about the breadcrumb, obviously, so you can navigate all, uh, all around but going back and forth. And uh, one cool thing that uh, exists here, um, there was a, you can, you can add a numbered list as well. So and I've added an example for uh, students or uh, people wanting to learn new skills. So if, if you want to use that to um, outline the sections, your, your, your class sections, for example, you could potentially use this for it. But again, with Logic DB, let's not forget we have uh, the real power of uh, properties that can be used to do uh, the same thing. So it's a matter of preference, and there will be some pros and cons to uh, the way this setup is. So, but in any case, um, I've set up class as making the assumption that I'm going to school. Uh, but I have two classes: mathematics here, and then math for programming, and then under math for programming, I have uh, these item here now. Uh, one cool thing that uh, we have with library here is you can reorder uh, your your name spacing here. So if I were to drag this, I can change the order. So that's uh, that's entirely possible. And the indentation, for illustration's sake, I'll say, well, what if I, these two uh, pages were um, children of uh, of this one? So I can easily reorganize from here. If I were to click on this, look at the breadcrumb, looks nice and, nice and tidy. So one thing I'm going to do here is I'll pick uh, this, uh, this page name. Let's go back to journal and then we'll look at the search experience. So I'll do command K um, and, and then I will add function and relations here in the search. And what do we see? Um, it shows the the page and the breadcrumb, which signals where that page uh, belongs, which is uh, I believe some, which is pretty cool. So if I click on it, it brings me straight up to it. So that's how you navigate and find uh, a, a namespace. Now, um, <clears throat> what changed? So let's take a look at one thing here. I'll click on tags and. Uh, uh, since uh, the since Logseq DB mode has begun, um, the concept of uh, <coughs> of parent has been present, and that parent was uh, so. Let's say you have a tag, and you want a, another tag that to in inherit properties from from a parent tag. Um, you would you would initially use a, a property called parent, but as of uh, today. Um, that property parent is now called extends. So essentially, um, what you get with uh, tags is that extend capability, and the same thing is uh, applies to library as well. So library being namespaces, so um, uh, being aggregated now. Uh, I have not covered this yet. So if if we have an existing page that we want to add to the library, so it's part of uh, some kind of it becomes like a, a parent of uh, of a namespace. I could, for example, click here and then look for an existing page. So I don't remember one. I'll go back here and see if I have one that I can easily quickly bring up to uh, this illustration. Um, so let's see what page do I have that's uh, still a single one. Uh, statistics maybe. Uh, Let's, let's go here, library, and I'll do, there you go. So I'm going to add this page statistics and then it shows up at the bottom. So now if I were to click on this page, it, it's part of the namespace and it's, it, it has, a, it's part of kind of the category, uh, the library category. So namespace is here. So that's, uh, that's what this is for. Um, so 
All right, so let's recap. So we know how to add an existing page. You can add new ones straight up from here. Uh, so we've done it with this example, Microsoft here, and we can add, I think I'll, I'll mention this, we can add an existing one. And uh, <clears throat> uh, numbered list works with it. And what else uh, do we need to do here? All right, yes, uh, there is one thing I have not covered. So let's let's assume we want to create, we want to reference, for example, um, VS Code. So while I'm anywhere in my graph, let's say I want to reference VS Code, I just, I don't necessarily need to remember anything about the, uh, the namespace. I can start with the keyword that I know and VS Code. And we can see once again, when inserting a reference, it shows the breadcrumb, uh, the trail of that, of that node. So VS Code, and this is how it looks. So uh, currently it, it, it will show um, the, the node on the far right and then the, and then the next one on the left side of the, name, uh, of the namespace. So that's basically how we get it. Now, what if we wanted to, to create additional, uh, some, some namespaces here? So I'll, I'll do something simple here. So let's say plugin report, for example, just to, for illustration. And I, when I do that, um, we have a namespace again. And as you can see, the plugin now is under library. Uh, the same thing goes for um, adding a page through command K, so the command palette. So in this case, um, let's see what example. Um, yeah, I was just gonna type something like context menu, why not? And context slash menu. And once I create that page, once again, it, it, it generates um, the namespacing and the auto assignment. So if I go to library, uh, it will always append at the bottom of, uh, of the library page. And we can see that plugin is there, context is there with uh, menu and so on. So, um, yeah, so that's, I believe, a cool feature that will transform uh, the, the organization of nodes uh, for some people who really like uh, to either uh, disambiguate uh, and so on. Um, and I'll close out with uh, maybe uh, some uh, some examples of uh, what it may be good for. So uh, in the, uh, with this example, we have, let's say, a company called ABC Widgets, and then we have a client called uh, ABC Widgets. So in this case, right, so I don't necessarily believe this is, a, this is ideal. Um, the property use case uh, is probably well suited for this because with ABC uh, widgets here, now that we have the concept of tags, which uh, provides some superpowers, we could have something like this. Um, so ABC widget is a company and uh, let's go to here. So I'm, I didn't do this right. So let's say ABC widget is a company. So I'm tagging it with, uh, if I can type. So ABC, ABC which is a company, and if you're representing, for example, a company being also uh, your client, uh, you could, for example, do this. So in this case, you, I believe you get more powers by, uh, by going this route than attempting to, to go the namespace route. So hopefully this helps. Um, enjoy it. Thank you.